Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. It's very nice of you to join me. Now, the plant in front is one of the uh, one I unboxed the other day, and it's the uh, BLC Alma Key Trimpoli. And uh, I've decided not to uh, take it out of the pot and do as much work on it as uh, I did on the last one. It's evident that the uh, the roots on these plants love the stuff they're in. So I'm going to take it out of its pot. I'm going to remove probably all the big pieces out of it. Leave the other stuff in and uh, then pot it up. So I'm not completely removing all the coconut husk. And we'll see how that goes. Well, the first thing to do is to... Uh remove the pot. Oh I might not I might not have to uh, cut this. Ah it's coming off good. Just one or two roots broken there that's uh, holding it on. Some more somewhere up. Ah that's better. Right, we've got that off. Yeah, the roots do seem to like this uh, this coconut husk. So, uh, I mean, I've never seen it like that before. Let's get the camera and have a quick look. I mean, it looks like there's been uh, a proper pot made up of this... Uh, Coconut husk. So I'm going to remove all these uh, straight pieces and leave the stuff in the middle as best as I can. And we'll see how that goes on. Well, I've got to start somewhere, so I might as well start. And what I did, I, uh, I've actually, I soaked this for an hour. A lot of people said, you'd have been better soaking it but uh, it was so damp, I left it. And uh, we wanna, well, I want to see if it's uh, if it's better after being soaked. But uh, the pot came off better. The roots. I mean, I might as well lose these. Fastened on. Oh, there we are. But, but, what do you do about the roots? Look at the pieces. I must admit they're coming off better than yesterday. There's even bigger pieces inside. Inside. Can you see it? If I open it up, huge pieces. And the 
these roots that look white, a lot of them are dead. That's not. It is now. in anything like this. I did think all the all the roots in this husk was living, but it's not, it's all dead, the roots. So I might as well take them off. Look at that for a piece. How do I get that off? Stripping all the velumin off the what roots there are in here. We've got one brand new root growing there, so that's good, and it's on the new growth. virtually destroying nearly all the roots here but they can't do anything about it I think my plans of uh, of leaving a lot of this coconut husk on has gone to the dogs Look at that, all threaded. So we'll just take as much off as we can. We've got no alternative. So I'll keep snipping away until it looks decent. I might as well. Just trim them all like that. Take off the little bits that's hanging about. I've no idea whether these roots were dead or alive, or whether I've just stripped the element off and, uh, and exposed them, but uh, Time will tell if we can get it growing. You see, I wired it up before I started, then I, uh, then the uh, leaves won't get in the way while I was uh, doing this. I know it certainly made it wet through this with uh, with soaking it. But it does, it has come off easier, I must admit. Just 
trying to snip it down to where to where it's living. How are all these living? Don't know, we'll just snip the ends off. Let's see if we can shake them into life again. A bit more. There's a few of them are living, but uh, a lot of them are dead. can we do I mean well I think we've really made a mess of that but uh, it had to be done we've got one nice root here that's a good sign so I'll put that up in the uh, in the large bark and uh, and then see what happens Yep, can't do any more than this. <sighs> right, beautiful plant by it, isn't it? You know, new growth. This is a new growth where there's the, uh, the new root is. And uh, new growth here. little nubbins here so they are really nice plants these right look at that lot <laughs> the size of the pieces all rotten though right we'll shove that over on one side Fasten this up or not yet? Oh, we'll see. Just want it sitting above. A bit like that. to the back, put that to the back because the new growth's at the front here, of wire and just fasten it to the uh, fasten it to the pot and that one's been done twice as quickly as the other ones well I'll just get a piece of this uh, soft aluminium wire Wrap it round that one. Not too tight, just enough to hold it. Well, you can't see from there, can you? Uh, we'll take it round the front. It's a bit different. 
difficult this and pass it through the pot and that holds it very nicely. Well there we are, I've got it all wired up, the uh, new growth is pointing towards the middle and uh, as I said before you know I've wired it all up to, to keep it upright not uh, spraying out all over the place and uh, we'll leave that until the growth starts and once it's uh, started and bedded itself in then we'll remove all the wires. So that's the two uh, difficult cat layers done. The Alma Key and the He Song Tian Mu. Well with, the, <coughs> well with the sun getting higher in the sky and things are getting warmer, it's uh, almost 29 degrees in this greenhouse, you know. But I've got no vents whatsoever. I've blocked everything up. Uh, but I'm lucky, I'll show you. This side of the greenhouse faces north, doesn't get any, any sun on it at all. You can see the dark uh, bits of muck on the glass on the inside, but the glass on the outside is that unbreakable stuff, and then on the inside of that is uh, polycarbonate, and then on the inside of that there's uh, this large bubble wrap that's been on now about 11 years. But I don't get any sun on this side at all. And this is a view facing east. And you can see the conifers there in front of the greenhouse. You can just see the corner of the greenhouse sticking out. And, uh, whoops. and they give off plenty of shade for the greenhouse. You know, when the sun's setting in the east, it stops it going onto the greenhouse or warming it up too much. So uh, those conifers are very beneficial to keeping the heat down in the greenhouse. Now on the other side, which is the uh, next door's garden, I planted a row of these conifers, just up to high of the uh, of the drains, and I planted them all along. You see it dark in here. You see how dark it is on this side. Beautiful for plants that like shade. But we get the light in here from this from the roof. But that, uh, those uh, conifer trees, the full length of this greenhouse, does keep it nice and cool and stop it getting too warm. If it does get too warm, the only thing I do is just leave the doors open and leave the fan on like there's one on now. Anyhow, that's about all I can show you. So until next time, when, uh, I don't know, I might have ordered some more plants from somewhere. I'll see you later.